welcome back so now we are going to create an s3 bucket finally let's go into our uh, aws management console and let's find the s3 it should be somewhere under the storage and right there storage s3 so s3 is where all the objects be it a file video movies everything goes and uh, uh, it gets stored there uh, if you do a quick search of s3 leakage you will find a lot of uh, uh, news over the years the recent one came just uh, from the last month when uh, some company in europe it uh, s3 bucket it was open it was public to everybody we will see where the public option is and basically everything from payment information from credit cards details the scariest of it uh, if you go and read that news it has their uh, uh, that uh, cvv code the security code of uh, your uh, of those people's uh, credit cards uh, security code was stored in there so and it was publicly accessible for anybody to go and grab that data s3 comes into play uh, for uh, uh, like it shines the brightest in when you want to for example in terms of uh, Netflix uh, They can store their movies all of their on s3 and you will just access that file uh, those files you, Those movies play on your TV uh, It comes into serverless web hosting where you have static web pages. So it's not like you can f f uh, host a website that goes back and forth uh, with like for example uh, uh, WordPress but static web pages yes definitely you can store and it will act, act just fine let's go and create a bucket so here is the bucket option we're gonna create this name it has to be universal yeah it's it says somewhere here uh, rules for bucket naming you can s uh, see that but this bucket uh, it's just like DNS so it has to be unique name I'm gonna call it Imran three bucket and hopefully that name is available Choose bucket it with when you have already had already had a lot of buckets created and you can choose either one of them. Region where you want this bucket to be. I have a few options. Right now it's uh, being it's going to be in Northern Virginia. That's the oldest. Here is that uh, all public access. We will create a uh, separate video for this. So basically right now this bucket is not going to be publicly accessible but if uh, I uncheck it or in the case of that uh, news that I was talking about if that admin had prop definitely he had uh, had made uh, uncheck this box that's why that uh, bucket was public there's another thing that I learned that you can run a script and that will actually make the whole bucket public that's interesting too uh, bucket versioning you can disable or enable it uh, we gonna do another video on the versioning next is add tags again you know what uh, the tags are for um, so I'm not gonna do it right now but again default encryption that is another thing that that guy or that uh, the news about the uh, bucket leakage did not do that uh, they did not uh, put any encryption so that uh, all the data in that bucket it was just plain up for grab so it's always an idea to enable it and then you can do further uh, like encryption like how you want to do this for our purposes just uh, to create I'm gonna disable it but uh, you, you have two options you can do the s3 key or you can do the management key let's just keep it to default and there are some advanced setting so object lock model happy parent object from being deleted so basically that is that nobody deletes anything accidentally that's what that for I'm gonna just hit create bucket and that name it's already been taken so I'm wrong s3 bucket in Ohio and let's see if it will let me create that hopefully that name is available it is available I like this green, uh, green color and there is my bucket so just for the sake of this video let's go and uh, upload some 
files in it and then we're going to call this a video there is the upload button i'm gonna we, we have two options we can either add a folder or a file i'm gonna go with files there is my aws and i'm gonna upload these two files i should have named them better we'll go by 37 and 49 so i'm going to show you uh these videos have been uploaded this the total size is 6.4 mb if i am to go and click no okay upload we have to click there is one more thing and that is the upload button succeeded succeeded now if i go and click on this it's giving me the properties and this is the object url this file is the object and access denied so this video uh, this uh, file the this picture is not publicly accessible so there, there there's a good uh, like uh, security there i'm gonna call this video here and i'm gonna wrap this uh, let's see in the next video about how to make objects or anything public that's for for the next video but if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one